Okay, in this situation, we've got a spot on the ground, um, and we've got some clouds that are moving in this direction. <clears throat> and we've got the sun coming down, um, as usual, it's daytime. So we're looking at the luminous intensity on this spot on the ground as a function of the distance that this cloud moves. And you can see uh, so the clouds are thicker in different spots. So if light tries to get through here, more light will pass through than, for instance, if light tries to pass through here, than if light tries to pass through here. So there's gonna be some variation in the amount of luminous intensity on the ground as this cloud passes through. So here we have, as the cloud moves forward, uh, half a mile up there, so 0 0.5 miles. We've got a luminous intensity of 120,000 lux. Uh, this is slightly different than Candela's, but for our purposes, it's about the same. So um, then as it moves uh, another half a mile, right? So now we're a mile into the travel. This cloud's moving up there. Uh, now it's a little darker, because it's maybe back here. There's more clouds to go through. Uh, we're at only 80,000 lux. Okay. After another 1.5 now, um, we're at 90,000. So maybe we've got a, a little bit of a thinner part of the cloud. Um, after two miles of travel, uh, we're at 60,000. So we're at a thicker, thicker part of the cloud again. Um, less luminous intensity. Uh, after two and a half miles now, we're maybe at an th even thinner part here. So we're actually uh, back up to 100,000 lux. And after three miles, uh, and this picture is obviously not accurate, but after three miles, uh, we're back down to 55,000 lux. So we're at a thicker part of the clouds. But there's our data, and that's the situation. If uh, x is the distance that the cloud is traveling from left to right, and uh, f of x is the luminous intensity on that spot on the ground. All right, in this situation, we've got a room here. And we've got a light in the room, it's on a dimmer switch, okay? Uh, as this dimmer gets pushed up, this increases the amount of light coming out in a continuous way. Um, but it's daytime out, so there's some light. We're looking at the luminous intensity at this spot on the floor. So when this is down at zero, this dimmer switch is down at zero here, um, we actually have a luminous intensity of 150 candelas, okay? That's just natural light. There's no light coming from this, but there's some light coming in from that window. Now, if we move this up a little bit up to here, okay, one centimeter up the dimmer. So now we've got a little bit of light coming out of here. So one centimeter up, we're now looking at uh, 205 candelas. Okay. Make it go up a little bit more, three centimeters, sorry, three, okay, and at three centimeters, we're talking about 315 candelas. Okay, so now we got a lot more light coming out of this. And we'll do uh, one more four centimeters here. Four centimeters. Okay, so now there's more light coming out. We've got 370 candelas. And if we go up to five, that's the full, full way. We've got 425 so if X, again, is the height that this dimmer switch is uh, from the bottom, and F of X is the luminous intensity hitting that spot on the floor. Okay, in this situation, we've got a, a street light of sorts here, and we've got a person who's gonna be walking under that street light. All right. So, we're talking about if this person walks 10 feet, now they're here. Okay, we're talking about the amount of uh, luminous intensity on the top of that person's head. So let's pick a spot on the top of the head. So after 10 feet of walking, we're at luminous intensity of 39 candelas. All right. Walk another 10 feet. So now we're a total of 20 feet. 
and it's increased. Now we're at 64 candelas. All right. We're going to walk 20 more feet now. 20 more feet. So now we're at a total of 40. All right. 40 total. And at 40 feet, we're going to be at 84 candela. It's more directly under. Okay. Now we're going to go 60 feet, 20 more. So now we're over here somewhere. And the light starts to decrease again. We're back at 64. And 10 more feet. Now we're at 70 total. And we're back down to 39. Okay. So there's some symmetry here, as you might expect. But if X is the distance that this person is walking, right, here, 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 away from this left edge, and F of X is the luminous intensity at the top of the head as, as the person is walking. All right, in this situation, we've got a car driving through a wooded area, and the sun, as it attempts to shine through different parts, it's going to cast a different amount of luminous intensity on top of the hood or the the roof. Okay, so um, we'll call this zero, the left hand side. Um, so at zero, the amount of candelas is 35. All right, getting through this tree here to hit that part. Now we're going to drive 100 feet. Okay, after 100 feet, now these cars here, um, we're at 41. A uh, little bit of an increase. Uh, another 100 feet. Okay, and who knows, there must be another tree here because, um, I'm sorry, 300 feet, my fault. So now the car is here. This must be a denser tree. So after 300 feet, uh, we're back down to 33. Okay, another 100 feet, car is here. We're at 400 now. Uh, we're up to 55, who knows, maybe there's a channel in that tree or something allowing more light in, uh, or maybe as you get toward the center, or maybe this picture is just inaccurate. 450, so we're going to go another 50 feet, now we're at 450, uh, 88, okay, uh, another 50, so now we're at a total of 500 feet, we're down to 72, 550, 34, and finally, uh, now we're off the page at 700. Uh, we're at 48 candelas. So again, if X is the distance that the car is driving from left to right on the page, and F of X is the amount of luminous intensity that's falling on a particular spot on the hood or the roof.